Hi, a couple students asked me um, some follow-up questions on editing floors and basically adding in what would be um, embedded uh, area rugs and carpets like that. Because traditionally in a commercial setting, um, if you have tile and you put a rug over it, that, that's quite a tripping hazard. So often what they'll do in these installations is the tile will run up to a metal band called a Schluter strip, which we'll talk about when we get into tile too. Um, and then the carpet itself is embedded in the flooring system. So there's no level change. So if you're on, or in a wheelchair, you're just walking along, you're on the tile. And then when the carpet begins, you're all still at the same level. Um, that's the correct way to do this, particularly in commercial settings. So a lot of people are looking at doing things like maybe an area rug in their um, kind of entry, kind of waiting room area. Um, often when we do we deal with uh, flooring, but also ceilings too, you want to have level one and the 3D model put up because it allows you to kind of click on the pieces better. So to, in order to get this section of flooring, the easiest way is to be in the 3D model. I'm going to click kind of over it like this. Then I want to draw it in actually level one. So I'm going to go over here to level one. I'm going to go up to edit boundary. And then using the rectangle tool, I'm going to draw roughly the shape of like the area rug I think I want. So maybe um, maybe my folks are kind of sitting over in this area and I want to kind of make it feel a little bit homier. So I'm going to put something like this. And then once that shape is drawn, I click the green uh, check mark and then it's ca carved that out. So that's an empty space now on my floor and I can show you from here. So here it is there. Um, so now what I want to do is put a carpet in. Um, so I'm going to use one of the ones I already have, but I go over to architecture and then floor, and then floor architectural, and then I'm going to pick, I think it was carpet three is kind of like my less busy one, and I'm going to stick that there, and so now I'm going to use the rectangle again, and draw in here, and then click the green arrow, and then I'll check it out in 3D, and looks pretty good. Now, maybe I want to line it up better with this door or edit it more in some way. So you can always go back and change this. So one of the ways you do that, actually it's easier to get it in 3D. I'm going to get this larger piece here, go to level one. So for example, I want to bring this carpet sort of to line up with that door. So I'm going to say edit boundary. I'm going to click on this pink line and I can kind of move it over. So this is now the tile part of it that I'm editing. So I click green arrow. Now there's an empty space. I'll show you. You're going you're gonna to fall through the floor there. Um, so what we want to do now is edit this section. So I click on that also. I click edit boundary. I click on the pink line. So I left click and then I'm just using my little arrow keys on my laptop to nudge it over like that. And I think it's pretty well lined up. Sometimes you'll get a little ping and a little orange if, you, if you're overlapping, but these seem to be pretty well lined up. So I click OK for that. And then we'll check it out again in 3D. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, in my case, another thing you might want to think about doing is in my floor plan here, my folks are coming in here through this front door. So particularly those of us who live in the Northeast, they have what's called walk-off mat systems. And again, it's much safer to put down this kind of system than just put down a carpet. You've probably all walked into buildings where they've duct taped the carpet down because it, it curls up creates a tripping hazard, it becomes a big giant mess. Um, so what they actually sell are these carpet systems that um, it's a flooring system. So there's a walk-off mat, a very highly textured carpet, and there's actually a metal grid underneath, then there's a space, and then I can often clean that space out. And that's where the dust and the rock salt and dirt and wet can fall down into there, um, but you're scuffing it all off your shoes before you walk onto the nice tile. So in my case, I want to have that kind of system. So I'll just show you quick. There's a few little tweaks to that. Um, I'm going to go back over here. We're going to say edit boundary. First, I'm just going to delete this one out. So we're taking out kind of that the interior section. Now it's going to give me an error error because it's like, hold on, you've got two kinds of floors there. Um, I can click that and I can just literally delete it. So now I want to get this the beginnings of this guy again. Uh, this one's a little bit trickier to do. What I want to do is instead of, it's hard to just cut it out the space that I want here, but I want to edit this, um, the perimeter of this, so it goes in like this and over like that, and then I'm going to put my new floor in. So I'm going to hit edit boundary. Um, in my case, what I'm going to do is click on this pink line and then drag it up, and I'm just doing it with a mouse to like where the door is. It might go a little bit higher. This one, I want to drag back to about 
uh, maybe about here. We'll see how that looks. And then we need to connect this because now it's not connected to anything. So we're going to go over here. I wanted this to come out about five feet. So I'm actually going to put five feet here, go down straight, go down here and connect with there. Now this is my new per, uh, per, perimeter of the, uh, the current tile I want. And now there's like this empty hole. So for the empty hole, I want to put in a walk if mat. Um, I thought I had uh, created one, but I might have forgotten. So I'm just going to show you quick how to just put in a new one. It's the same way. We're going to hit floor, floor architectural. Um, let's see. We're going to put, uh, actually, I can put that really heinous red carpet. You can see what that looks like. Here it is here. Um, and this is just going to be a rectangle. So I'm going to start at the corner here. I'll bring it over to here. I'll click OK. Um, and now if we go looking in 3D, there is my tile and then this lovely red carpet, which I'm going to be for class change to something prettier and blue. Let me see if I can get a good angle where you can see it. There it is. So this would be my walk off mat, meaning as folks walk in, they're not like destroying this more nicer, expensive tile. Um, and you, you can do either application. You don't have to do this for class, but like I said, I know a couple people have asked about doing that, particularly in these areas where you come in and there's quite a large expanse of tile and you want to kind of break it up and create more of an area rug look. All right, so hopefully that was helpful and let me know if you have any other requests for demos and things like that too.